Hi, I'm Jordan and today we're going to be looking at machine sanding using a orbital sander. We're going to be using P1500 right the way through to P6000. We're going to be looking at the different grades in between there, when to use water, when not to, and just general hints and tips along the way. Okay, so to start off with, let's take a look at some of the grades of abrasives that we'll be using today. So we're going to be using mostly 3M's range. We've also got some of the Freckler P2000s there. We're going to start off with the 3M P1500 purple discs, and then we're going to work our way up to the P2000, which is a Freckler disc, and then we're going to jump back onto the Trizac disc which is from 3M and that's a P3000 and then we're finally going to finish off with the 6000 Trizac disc on the orbital sander. All of these are going to be on the orbital sander. Um, I say P6000 and P3000, we can't call the 6000 P um, which is pretty much of a long story to do with the FEPA guidelines and so on. So anyway, we've got the 3000 disc which looks similar to that. I have used that once already. And then we're going to go ahead with the P6000. Um, they are really nice abrasive discs, these are. They do come in handy and you, should, you will see on the video in a minute when I do use it how well it does bring up your panel. We've also got two different soft pads. We've got, I've stuck, stuck them both together at the moment, but we've got two different sizes which come in handy for different applications. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the flatting process. Okay, so we've got our orbital sander hooked up to our airline. We've also got our interface pad on the orbital sander itself. Just another point to make sure you do have a interface pad on your orbital sander uh, because when you are sanding for polishing, if you don't have an interface pad on, it's easy to dig that sander into the panel and then again it's going to cause us trouble later down the line. So for something uh, like a, a wing with a few different curved surfaces, I'd go for the bigger interface pad. And if you are doing things like flat surfaces or doors or bonnets, you know, I'd still stick an interface pad on. You've got the small ones as well. There are many different sizes to choose from, so definitely, uh, you know, put an interface pad on if you can. It does help prevent further trouble down the line. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our P1500 on our sander. And we're using the P1500 purple finishing films. Just make sure that the extraction holes are lined up. So we're going to pop our disc onto the orbital sander and again we're going to be doing this bit dry at the moment. We can do it wet if we want to but we're going to go ahead and just do it dry. So we've got our microfiber ready to clean the surface and all we're going to do is sand around this area here. Again after every so often just wipe your panel and get rid of that dust although if you have got it hooked up to extraction which I do normally do have it hooked up to extraction but obviously once I've got this turned on you won't be able to hear me speak so just for this purpose I'm going to leave it without so just get your microfiber wipe your disc down this helps make your disc last longer which is what we want and also wipe your panel down it keeps it clean and we can identify any defects as they show up so again another thing to point out at this point I'm using this orbital sander these different orbital sanders have different orbits so make sure you do get a sander which does have the correct orbit for polishing because if you do have a large orbit you do tend to get large pigtails or swirls as some people may call them and you can see them very defined on your panel if you don't polish them out or sometimes you can't polish them out if the orbit is that big so you do want a small orbit for polishing so that's the P1500, we'll get a close up of that. So here we have the P1500 along here, 
as you can see the panel is very matte you can't see any reflection in that P1500 and that's something to look out for you know you're using 1500 when you can't actually see the reflection and we'll we'll look at that later on so 1500 again it's it's a coarse abrasive you'll only need this if you flatten out orange peel or some you know major dirt nibs or defects so now we've gone over with our P1500 on our raw butter sander we're going to take that one off and we're going to go ahead and pop on our P2000 disc which is the ones from Freckler again different discs for our sanders last different times so different brands last longer than others if you know what I mean so definitely get yourself a high-end disc because they will last longer the cheaper you get you know you're going to use them once chuck them away whereas the high-end discs are going to last longer they can last a couple of jobs so now we've got our P2000 on our orbital sander we can go ahead and just go over our area we're removing the 1500 and we're taking it up to the 2000 So we've now gone over the area with our P2000, so we're just going to remove the P2000 disc. Just give it a quick clean because we can use that again. And we're now going to go over this area with our P3000. So we're going to pop the Trizac disc onto our pad, doesn't matter how to line it up because it doesn't have any holes. And again, like I've said in my other videos, if we are using water at any point, make sure you use clean water, not a dirty bucket of water. So just for this area, we're gonna spray some clean water and we're gonna go ahead and sand this with our Trizac disc. So we've just gone over that with the 3000, we'll just give it a dry with our microfiber. I do normally use microfibers actually all the time when polishing, even when we're flatting dry or with water, just because you know we don't want those dirty rags from the rag bin. So that's the P3000, and straight away you can tell that's 3000. It's a very high grade, and you can start to see a reflection now in the paintwork. And now we've gone over our area with our P3000, we're going to go ahead and go over the area with our 6000. So as you can imagine, this 6000 is very high and once we've finished with the 6000 you will be able to see that it is actually like nearly shiny. They are getting there with the grades of abrasives that we are using at the moment. So you know we've gone, you know, straight away we've gone from 1500 back in, you know, a few years ago, back right up to 6000. So you know they are getting there now with the grades, and you know, you know, who knows? In a few years' time, we might be seeing, you know, up to 10,000 and so on. So we shall have to see what they uh, eventually bring out. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and pop some more water on our panel and then go over it with the 6000. Again, clean water. Again, we're just going to wipe down our panel with our microfiber. and we'll get a close up of that. And that is the 6000 Trizac disc. As you can see, it's, it's nearly shiny. It's, it's nearly there. It actually looks better in person than on the camera. You know, it's, um, it's very shiny. It won't take much to polish that up at all. And this is, you know, where it comes in. This is where it's beneficial that it's cutting the polishing time down. And with us having the P6000, or 6000 shall I say, it's going to help reduce the flatting marks appearing in our paint jobs when we eventually come to polish them up. And again, P6000 or 6000 is great for use on dark colours, blacks alike. 
And that's it for this video on machine sanding. I'm going to put together a table of what grades of abrasive to use while it's polishing. Hopefully it should be some use to you. I'll be using some pictures what I've taken from this job today. So it should give you a bit of a helping hand of what grades to use and how to use them. I'll put them on um, the end of the video and I'll also put them on the website as well. Thanks for watching.